What's going on YouTube? JT is reborn here and welcome back to another edition of my DC comic book reviews and in this video we're talking about the DC All-In Special number one. This one is written by Joshua Williamson and Scott Snyder. Uh, Daniel Sampier is the artist, Dan Mora doing some things here and then there's also like a backup storyline and this is the big All-In Special. This is the lead into All-In, the new DC initiative where we gain kind of a new universe known as the absolute universe which this is directly connected to i mean this is right after the events of absolute power a little bit of times past and at the end of absolute power number four which you can check out my video on the channel uh the justice league unlimited was in essence formed and the watchtower is there and characters are now in this issue being given their little justice league access cards uh using all the greatest minds and superheroes coming together uh and just putting together a team like there's like titans members get put in you get pretty much everyone just gets involved in this whole thing so there's now just one kind of super team and it's the just league unlimited and that's great you get some characters who are really excited about this some are just kind of like eh, whatever like damien's whatever was that was, that was kind of funny though um and then some characters don't think they're worthy some are like oh wow i've been waiting for this the whole time and then booster gold gets involved he does have one funny moment where he takes a selfie after saving some people and he's like guy gardner sucks that that uh, getting the kids to say that was pretty comical then superman comes to him and superman chooses him to join the just league and he's really proud of it because in the future that was something that meant a great deal to him uh and now he's back in the past helping people and he's finally there to join the justice league unlimited and we see all the various heroes here the artwork here is really good uh, and all seems pretty grand and happy but then dark side shows up and it's not just any dark side this is a dark side that has fused with the specter he's chopped off his own hand he's given a new design and he's really unhinged here he's looking for something more and fulfilling because dark side has been kind of a constant within his universe and basically like after the multiverse was sealed off because dark side is like the only constant he's not in every uh version of the multiverse like all that energy kind of transfer back to him making him more powerful and then he fuses with the specter because he wants to just kind of do more stuff it's kind of a complicated backstory and all that but uh yeah you kind of get the idea so dark side does show up and that causes a rift within uh, space and time, which basically leads to the birthing of the absolute universe, something which they couldn't see before, given how the multiverse was all at play. But now that the multiverse is cut off, the access point to the absolute universe is there. And basically, Darkseid kind of becomes like a god of sorts to the absolute universe. Like it's an, a universe basically built in his image, and eventually he wants to come to Prime Earth and take over. But in the meantime, we're in the absolute universe. So uh, with this rift there, all the heroes are kind of scared and concerned, but they find out that only time travels can go, time travelers can go through there. So that's where Booster Gold comes in, and he agrees to volunteer. He's got skeets with him, and he's basically given like a ten minute window. Uh, they have like a, a jumping back point to this reality. Uh, so. It, assuming he doesn't lose track of skeets and when he gets there of course he loses tracks of like skeets and finds a world built in dark sides image like you have metropolis with dark sides omega beams and again this is setting the stage for the absolute universe so we see kind of at the end of the issue like he's attacked seemingly by dark side you have like the legion of superheroes who are now villains and it's just you know characters we kind of know but like an evil version of them like supergirl and whatnot so that's the main first part of the issue and um the second part of it is the omega is a storyline called omega written by scott snyder and josh williamson Wes craig is the artist on this one and this kind of catches up on what's been going on with dark side why he chopped off his hand and something happened and he's trying to build the miracle machine so he can be granted one wish and you have Calback and everyone else like oh hey let's go ahead and invade earth after all the stuff the heroes in that are much weaker now dark side Let, let's let's go kick some ass and dark side's like no leave me but he needs more blood than that to fuel his machine uh he even chopped off his hand at one point to kind of fuel it uh so he realizes he's just going to kind of kill everybody who's kind of in his way he's like oh you're my blood so i'm going to throw you in there as a sacrifice and this is kind of where he's kind of gaining power but we also see dark side having traveled to hell he's traveled to heaven and he also goes and confronts eclipso now eclipso is kind of surprised by this whole thing he's like all right you know what i'm just gonna kill dark side kind of once and for all now that he's been messing around with me because dark side's been looking for the specter uh however uh, he 
use the mother box to kind of transport like the sun or whatever like this power of the star to wipe out eclipso for good checkmate and then he finds uh the specter right there jim corrigan and now he wants to fuse with it so then the quintessence shows up and he kills the quintessence and he's granted one wish as a result of the miracle machine and dark side now is unwillfully forced with this to bond with the specter i mean the specter kind of chooses somebody but the Spectre doesn't really want to, like, like those who deems kind of worthy, I, I, I suppose. But Darkseid is somebody that it's never really wanted to fuse with. But then Darkseid comes in here and forces the Spectre to fuse with him, kind of giving him this cool, crazy new design. And, you know, there's talk about the multiverse and all that stuff. When, when we get to the multiverse stuff, it, it's something that's a little bit harder to follow, generally. Uh, that's something that I've always kind of felt, too, when we get to these events. And I kind of get lost in a little bit of it. But, you know, Darkseid has his role within it. And now he's stronger. And basically he kind of creates the absolute universe and we see little bits right there like the absolute wonder woman absolute batman absolute superman and then it kind of ties back into the ending of the first part where booster gold is there with the legion of superheroes well legion of un of super villains i suppose now uh however that's gonna work out i suppose but uh yeah so that was the all-in special i hope i did an okay job trying to summarize the the plot that happens with it i'm sure i probably like made some mistakes when, when you get to multiversal stuff and uh all this other crazy like cosmic things like that's the part where it always kind of loses me when it comes to dc stuff oh it's multiverse ultraverse something verse megaverse alpha verse whatever um verse 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 megaverse i don't know like when you get to all that stuff off, that's where it gets a little confusing for me but i hope i like did okay enough to explain it but uh yeah so i thought the stuff i really liked about this was kind of the earlier portion with everyone kind of forming the justice league unlimited uh, i was a big fan of uh the tv show justice league and justice league unlimited as a kid and bringing back the watchtower and everyone kind of involved as like these cool like as everyone's kind of like joining the league and giving their little access cards and I, i'm really excited to see the watchtower and of course dark side coming in there like even more powerful than before now that he's fused with the specter and then creating the absolute universe which is going to be starting this month uh, i'll probably check out maybe some of the titles i'm, I'm kind of like ah do i really want to start spending some extra money on some of this other stuff I, I may give like a like the first few issues of some of these different series a chance just to kind of get a little bit of a taste of the absolute universe which is like dc like marvel's ultimate universe so they're eventually going to tie in together but it's kind of its own storylines i mean we have a batman who i guess doesn't have money we have superman who was you know gone through something else and wonder woman like like forged from hell so it's it's the total opposite of this hopeful dc universe it's like the the jaded cynical universe so uh, a lot of cool stuff in here for sure and then getting more to the focus on dark side and seeing his motivations kind of shift where he's like not really interested initially when cal back and them came like hey like everyone's kind of weakened let's go let's go take over earth man uh but he's like no like leave me i got other things to do and this is an interesting take with dark side i liked his new design i think the artwork by daniel sam in the first part was pretty good so yeah a pretty good uh issue encompassing a lot of stuff setting the stage for everything else uh which is kind of like crazy we just have this event and then immediately it's just like oh yeah forget absolute power now we're into this next thing so it's like we can't even take a break but uh, the all-in universe is something that DC's heavily, like, leaning into. There's a lot of hype behind it. So hopefully it delivers something special. Like, I want some to see some wins from DC with all the stuff that's been going on. So, uh, yeah. I mean, that's all I really have to say. What did you think of the issue? Post your comments down below. Be sure to like this video. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content. Hit that bell for notifications. All that fun stuff. I think I got, like, one more DC comic book, which is, like, the latest issue of Batman. And I got some Godzilla comic books. And tune in later on today as I review uh, Joker full ado uh, i'm planning on seeing that tonight so we'll see how that movie turns out i don't know if it's gonna be good or bad i'm hearing a lot of polarizing responses on it so maybe i'll be the one who likes it or maybe i'll just be like what the hell was that so i, I don't see this one doing as big as the first film this is gonna be a really divisive or wacky sort of movie so yeah all right well that's all i have to say as always take care now bye bye then i will see you all in the next video peace out